Marty, while Heather Badcock was talking to your wife, Marina was not looking at her, but at that picture. And though there was doom foreshadowed in your wife's face, it was not on her the doom would fall. It was Heather Badcock who was doomed from the moment she started talking. I don't follow. Why should you? No one has told you exactly what she said. But they have, Miss Marple, over and over again. But not the crucial phrase, because no one thought it was important. I was just a girl and absolutely thrilled at the prospect of seeing you in the flesh. I've always been the most huge fan, but the most ridiculous thing was on that day, I went down with the temperature and the doctor said I couldn't go. What a pity. Can you imagine my disappointment, Miss Gray? What did the doctor say it was? German measles. I wasn't feeling really ill. I had this little rash on my cheek, so I said to myself, I won't be beaten. I got up, slapped some makeup on and went along. I am so pleased that I made it. Oh. German measles? That is correct, isn't it, Mr. Rudd? Yes. A very slight illness, really. A rash, a little fever but extremely infectious. And if a woman contracts it in the early stages of pregnancy, the consequences can be devastating. I think I'm right in saying your wife had a child who was born greatly damaged and that she's never really recovered from the shock. She never knew how or when or from whom she... Until the day of the party, when a perfectly strange woman came up those stairs and told her. Imagine what that moment meant for Marina. For years she'd nursed a kind of hatred for this unknown person who'd caused her tragedy. And suddenly she meets that person face to face. A person who seems so happy and carefree, and pleased with herself. It was more than she could bear. Had she had time to think, to calm herself, but she didn't. She always had her pills with her, so it was very easy to do. She put the stuff into her own glass, and if by any chance anyone noticed, they wouldn't afford anything of it, having seen her take them before. She managed to jog Heather Badcock's arm so that she spilt her drink. Don't worry, it's only Chanel. And that was where the confusion lay. Now, I only had the account of what Primrose Dixon reported to Cherry. She said how funny it was that she seemed to spill the drink on purpose. Yes. But the she that Primrose referred to was not Heather Badcock, but Marina Gregg. It was really the perfect murder. Have this, why don't you? I haven't touched it yet. Oh, I, I couldn't. <laughs> Please do. I've had far too much already. She wanted Heather Badcock dead. And a few minutes later, she was.